Mm -hmm. um, and I looked as many p canker pictures as I could find, and um, the, I only found one where there was also swelling in the front. Oh. But you see how this is starting yes. to look? Uh -huh. and, it's tender, and, obviously. Yeah, and it uh, becomes very ca ca cauliflowerish. Uh huh. So, so what do we do? <laughs> Not good, huh? Not good. Distinct line between this part of the foot. See how hairy it's looking? Can you, are you getting a good shot of that close up? Ready? Now I am close. Okay. And you just touch it and it starts bleeding. Now I am getting the odor mm -hmm. that's different really? than I normally smell. Someone had described it as a skunky thing. Mm -hmm. And then, or overly sweet. Hmm. And, uh, and I'm starting to maybe discern that kind of odor. Here, if you take a look at this, you can see the change in the normal frog yes. to this change that's going on here. So that is yeah. moving forward, taking over the frog? It's, it's, it's almost like a cancer in that it just starts taking over the whole foot. So um, th there are pictures, the whole bottom of the foot, it almost, I've seen pictures where it almost looks like you're looking at a bottom of a tree hmm. that had fallen over and the roots are all sticking out. And so they have to remove all of this to get down to normal tissue and let it grow out. So th this is beyond my skill set. <laughs> this, is, this is something you'd want to have done at a... A veterinary Medical. place, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's New Bolton or Leesburg or something? Mm -hmm. New Bolton mm -hmm. or Dr. Stephen O'Grady's. Where's he? In uh, Virginia. These things suddenly get so much blood supply mm -hmm. that the tissue just takes off. I mean, what causes it? I, I think the ideology is really unknown. I suspect it's, well, I've heard the term, it's like a cancer, but it's not a cancer. There's, there's a lot of articles on this stuff. This is really the first one I've run into. But it's amazing, just from the time I was saying I got some concer concerns about the way these frogs are right. looking, to where here we are now. This is, you know, two feet, and it's almost identical. Compared to the other front foot. And if you want to talk to Dr. O'Grady, he, I'm sure he'll talk to you, especially when I update the video and send that to him because he's interested in what's going on. And he hasn't said any more about the band. Well, he, he was suspicious about it being canker based on the first video, mm -hmm. but we really didn't clean the foot out that much, and the, the, uh, the swelling of the coronary band was more like a systemic thing affecting all four feet at one time. Mm -hmm. Whereas, it seems like a lot of these cankers don't necessarily affect all four. See the chestnut until... Okay. Yeah, that looks a little raw. Not a prognosis or anything, right? No. It just seemed like it was going to be better soon. Okay. Oh, there it is. I just touched the. Uh, just touched it and it fell. The off. chestnut and it came off and it looks pretty raw underneath there. Well, your lower back has been hurting, as you can imagine. Your lower back, <laughs> yeah, yes. Right. Can you get a close-up of this? Because even between last time and this time, mm -hmm. it's becoming very hairy looking. Yes. Uh, I, when I was cleaning her feet, I kept finding, I wasn't sure what it was. 
Right. As I was cleaning it, it was like spikes of something. Yes. And I was thinking, well, this is hay, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's very proliferative tissue with a great blood supply. Mm -hmm. I really now have a nose for that odor. And I, mm -hmm. Do you, do you yes, smell it yet? Yes, I smell something. It mm -hmm. seems to be mixed with the normal smell, though. Not yeah, see, I, don't, I don't smell the normal smell anymore. <laughs> you are a little closer to it. Then. I'm immune to that. It's so distinctive and different. Now, putting her hoof on that stand isn't bothering her. No. Um, so where is it sitting? You mean the bottom of it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. what part is sitting? It's on, on the front part of the frog right now. Oh, okay. But if you moved it too far forward, then... You want to try that? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into torturing the horse. I, but, you know, w walking around seems pretty normal. Yeah. Anyway. Is it the same? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, it, it did not look like this four weeks ago. Because I would have said, boy, that really looks like canker. And at the time, it would just look like the, the frogs were getting real thrushy and soft and mushy. But it didn't have this, they, they describe it as a cauliflower appearance. Right, I can remember reading that. But it's, uh, you know, you still have normal frog tissue up in the front of the toe. Mm -hmm. And it's just shooting down the axis of the frog, it looks like. There's some gruesome video mm -hmm. of farriers cutting these things out Ooh. without tourniquets, just right in the aisle. And there is just blood all over the place. Really? <laughs> but, I mean, is that accepted or is that...? That was probably standard practice, you know, at some point. Fair come out, cut as much, just let it bleed, and try to and treat it, and hopefully it'll go away. But I know Dr. O'Grady's got his uh, his techniques down for treating these. And you need to talk to him about that. Right. Rooter's up in the toe here. I'm not telling what happened there. Pretty soft. You got a picture of that right there? Mm hmm. Really soft. So it sort of looked like a stone bruise, but it's the sole is really soft. I'm wondering what that if that might turn into something. Now this one looks like it's the earlier stages. It's not hairy, it's just yellow and soft. And and not as big? No, no as it does. It enough. looks like what it looked like, you know, a couple of weeks ago maybe. Okay. But it's definitely taking over again from the back, moving forward. There's normal frog tissue there. I don't think you can be that stressed at the moment. Good. You're doing a great job up there. Oh, well. This is another suspicious area, because this is sole, but it's sort of soft. Uh-oh. A lot of these soft areas might be attributable to how much rain we had last night, mm. but it still looks like a different tissue. See this part here? Focus right here. Right now. This is smooth, but it's getting yellowish and soft. Mm -hmm. It's not bleeding yet, but that's what the other frogs look like. 